everyone on YouTube. Uh, I just wanted to make a video of the uh, 1851 and the 1860 uh, polished steel army and navy. Uh, someone on one of my videos asked me if I could do a video of the 1860. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I won't get into the internals of the gun. Uh, this is the 1851 navy. It's all apart right now. Everything is identical as far as the internals go. This is a 36 caliber. Um, nothing is different. Uh, the only thing different is it's polished steel. It's not stainless steel, it's polished. And the difference between stainless and polished is stainless steel is obviously one, uh, any kind of item that's stainless steel is harder. Uh, and two, stainless steel resists uh, corrosion. Um, and you would figure that with polished steel, with it just being bare steel that's polished to a shine, that it would rust, but it doesn't. Um, I can confirm that I've cleaned these guns multiple times so far. Uh, I just throw them in water with soap, as you can see over here, and they don't rust. Um, the other thing I've noticed with them is they do, um, I'm not sure what you would call it, but they do stain. Um, you can see on the trigger right here, the trigger guard, um, you see the black stains, if my damn phone will focus. See those black stains right there? And the black stains. Come on, will you please focus? The black stains right there all over the gun on the top. There you can see them on the trigger where my finger is. Those don't wipe off um, with water and soap. Uh, you have to actually polish those out uh, with a polish like this. You can also see it on the hammer right here. This thing will focus. Uh, this gun hasn't been cleaned yet. Um, no matter how much I wipe it off, it doesn't come off. Uh, it stays on the stainless steel, or the, sorry, the polished steel. And another issue that I'm noticing is you see these dots right here? Uh, they almost look like rust, but I'm not sure if they are or not. I don't think they are. Um, it's the black powder that seems to s s damage or I don't know about if you can call it damage, but it's the black powder that seems to uh, corrode it. It almost looks like it's corroding. Um, it could be rust. I'm not exactly sure. This happened the first time I shot the gun, these right here. Um, but yeah, that uh, is the only thing I've noticed with these guns. Now, polish does not get these marks out. I have sat here and polished and polished and polished, and it does get them out a little bit, but you do see the divots where they used to be, so it must be rust. Um, and this is, literally, I cleaned the gun right after I shot it, so um, the black powder, the, the hot embers that get on the gun, they cause these marks, and you don't see them on a, uh, uh, a blued steel version or a uh, case-hardened version. So the only way to get these out is to use steel wool. So... I'm not sure what else to do as far as reviews go. Like I said, the internals and everything are identical. The only difference is, like I said, black powder stains the uh, polished steel, and the embers from when you shoot the gun uh, causes these little marks on the barrel um, or any kind of marks down here. Anytime you get kind of like the caps when they go off and they cause like sparks or whatever, they do something to the polished steel. Um, you can get it out again. It's not like permanent. Uh, you just got to polish it with a uh, uh, steel wool and some uh, aluminum like mags aluminum polish over here uh, it will come out it's just basically the difference between these guns is they require more cleaning that's the only thing I've noticed so um, everything else is identical to the original version so if you want to get a polished steel version go for it um, I love these two um, I just don't like having to clean them a little more than usual so but it's no different than having to clean the brass uh, over the case hardened, you know, you got to polish the brass to make it shiny again. So the case hardening, you don't. The case hardening, it just wipes right off. So, uh, yeah. Um, to the guy who uh, asked me to review it, I say go for it. Um, especially if you want a uh, silver uh, polished versions of the gun. Um, and you want to save money on stainless steel. Uh, I say go for it. So just be prepared to clean the gun more. So... Um, and be prepared to get these little dots. They won't come out uh, from from normal polish. You have to actually use steel wool. So um, use a very, very fine steel wool so that way you won't scratch the gun, but you will get the, uh, the stuff out. So anyway, I hope this uh, video was helpful. I know there's no videos for the uh, polished steel versions. 
Uh, at least I haven't seen any. Um, I haven't even seen any reviews online.